I would now like to request uh, Professor J. Raj Pandyan, Vice President, World Stroke Organization, uh, to please uh, come on stage and give us his presentation. Professor Pandyan is the Principal and Professor of Neurology at the Christian Medical College at Ludhiana, Punjab. He is also the Vice President of the World Stroke Organization. I would request uh, him to please share with us what are the best practices worldwide when it comes to management and treatment of stroke. Please uh, raise your hands and welcome Professor Pandyan. Good morning. I'll run through um, the global burden of stroke um, and also from World Stroke Organization's perspective, uh, um, what can be done in uh, all countries, particularly uh, low and middle income countries. So this is a 2013 data uh, from global burden of disease. Uh, there is a stroke uh, working group. And um, the 2013 figures, it's about 26 million stroke survivors, and 70% of them were ischemic stroke, and 6.5 million deaths from stroke. The incident strokes were about 10.3 million new strokes. And 75% of the deaths from stroke and 80% of DALI's lost uh, was from uh, LMICs. And um, according to 2013 data, there has been a 42% reduction in stroke incidents in developed countries and 100% rise in stroke uh, in LMICs. The recent 2016 GBD data, the incidence is about 15 million in a year globally which is uh, increased, and the prevalent strokes is about 80 million in a year. Death, there is some reduction in death, but it's about 5.5 .5 million in a year, and Delhi is 116 million. The Indian data, uh, Dr. Padma just uh, gave us an uh, overview. Uh, the incidence is about 119 to 145. Uh, this is across India, it's almost the same, but uh, in rural India, it's very high. We recently completed a Ludhiana rural population-based stroke registry. It was 210 per 1 lakh population. And also figures of mortality from rural India, a uh, place in Maharashtra, Gachiroli, it was 194 per 1 lakh population in those uh, 54 villages that they uh, screened uh, stroke one in seven patients, one in seven deaths in those villages were due to stroke. About 13% of their deaths occurred due to stroke. And Dr. Padma showed a figure in the Northeast India, stroke is the leading cause of death. And the case fatality rate varies from um, 22 to 42%. Gaps. One is the pre-hospital care, uh, awareness for that. Uh, you need to have a public awareness, public awareness of stroke is very poor. Um, there are many uh, concerted efforts by many organizations, Indian Stroke Association, World Stroke Organization, to raise the public awareness of stroke. And even if they recognize stroke, how would they reach the hospital? Uh, there are many ambulance services available in the country, 108, 102, but with the amount of traffic, uh, how will the patients reach? It's a great challenge. And then uh, thrombolysis. Um, the evidence-based treatment the, within 4.5 hours, uh, IVTPA, and then within 24 hours in best centers, endovascular treatment with mechanical thrombectomy. Uh, so within 24 hours, we can uh, offer uh, um, uh, stroke, acute stroke treatment, but again, patients have to reach on time. Um, the stroke treatment has to be delivered in an organizational set up called stroke unit, uh, stroke care services. It is not a standalone uh, um, program. So it has to be multidisciplinary, where emergency department, the radiology, neurology, if, uh, if there are no neurologists, is a physician, neurosurgeon, and rehabilitation doctor. So it's a, uh, um, a comprehensive uh, services we need. And then, of course, rehabilitation once they have a stroke. So World Stroke Organization has come up with a roadmap to deliver quality stroke care across all income level countries. This pyramid <coughs> at the tip is advanced um, stroke care services, in the middle is the essential stroke care services, and the bottom is the minimal health care services. 
and to these three uh, healthcare uh, infrastructure we can incorporate the uh, continuum of stroke care that is uh, starting from pre hospital and recognition and transfer of the patients to the stroke ready hospital where ct scan is available and uh, and at each continuum of care each point in the continuum of care what are essentials so if it is a primary health center what is essential if it is a secondary health care level what is essential and in an advanced uh, uh, tertiary care what is essential so all these uh, evidence based treatment in the entire continuum of care <coughs> is given in the stroke road map if anyone wants to start up a service at a district level hospital you have everything here and not only that you can monitor you can monitor the uh, the performance there are quality measures inbuilt into this uh, road map and uh, you can assess after 6 months and then uh, if you want more funding you can take that information to the policy makers and you can further develop the program so this is the uh, global stroke services framework uh, uh, published in 2016 and announced by world stroke organization it has been widely used across the country and uh, the indian stroke guidelines and the uh, uh, government of india stroke guidelines a lot of things have been incorporated from this particular uh, wso's road map so with this i will conclude and by the end of this day we should have uh, an integrated approach to tackle stroke in our country and uh, so that we have many many stroke ready hospitals we have to work together with wso indian stroke association government of india and private uh, sector hospitals thank you